So, what's the, what's your plan here? I don't have a plan, Travis. I'm just going to roll with <clears> it. <throat> I always have my glasses on. So you don't have to have your glasses on. Yeah, it's right. dark out here. Just get, show your baby blues. Are you nervous? No, I did I don't that. want them. I, did that I don't once. want them to see my eyes. <laughs> Hey, this is Eric with the Post Apoc, and I'm here with Screep. Hey guys. And we're going to talk today about why baseball bats are terrible weapons for most people. There's always the exception, there's the giant guy who's like, oh look, I can wield a baseball bat with one handed and never get tired because I was a professional baseball player. Whatever. We don't make rules based on the exception. So for most people, I'm going to tell you why a baseball bat is not a great idea for a weapon and how you can make it better. So first of all, if we stop talking about a baseball bat like a baseball bat, because we're not using it for baseball, it's basically just a club. It's a big, front-heavy club. And there is an advantage to a baseball bat as far as range. You've got a lot of range, and it has a lot of power to it. But those come with cost. So because the, uh, the center of gravity on a bat is really, really far from your hand, it makes it unwieldy. And you can tell that if you just try to wave it with one hand. You do not have a lot of control with one hand, especially if you're way down here. So to have control, you've got to choke way up on the bat. And then you lose your range right off the bat. So a bat, for most people, is a two-handed weapon. Well, already you've lost the use of your left hand. So you're at a disadvantage there. The withdrawal on a bat requires a lot of energy investment. It requires a lot of time. There's not a lot of time for like high rate of uh, follow-up strikes. It's just a big, heavy, slow crusher of a weapon. Here's one of the problems. Trav, if you will wield a bat. So when you swing a bat, you have like an arc of effectiveness here. So just beyond the end of the bat, I'm not going to get hurt, obviously. If I step just inside the sweet spot of the bat, which is right about from here to here, that's the thickest, heaviest part of the bat, if any of that hits me, I'm toast. But right inside that, on the handle part, there, it's not, I mean, it's still gonna hurt, but most of the weight of the bat, most of the force is gonna be at the end. So, if I step inside the swing of a bat, he, he's already lost most of the effectiveness of that swing. If he misses that first swing, so if I'm able to lunge and goad him into swinging, I can get in here probably faster than he's gonna be able to pull the bat back at least enough to do anything with it. How can we fix the bat and make it a better weapon? pretty easily. Um, what you want to do is saw the bat off. I'm not kidding. Right where it stops tapering and levels out, just saw it off right there. Screep if you'll bring it to me. We already have a sawed off bat right here. So you can see right about where I cut it off and immediately the advantages of this bat are apparent. It's lightweight. I can use it one-handed. It still has enough of weight and enough power to crush somebody's skull or break bones or whatever you were using this for only this is much lighter weight it doesn't use a lot of energy it's one-handed so I've got one hand to block or push somebody away or grab onto somebody or grapple and it's a lot harder Travis come here again it's a lot harder for me to get inside the range of that now granted you've given up some range but that's the only thing you've given up I think you gain a lot more then you lose. It's a lot harder for me to get inside the swing of a short little weapon because even if I'm right up here grabbing on him, he, thank you, he can still use it effectively at close range. So if you're still under the illusion that a baseball bat is a good weapon, go out in the backyard, do some drills, swing it around, see how fast you can draw it back and swing it again, how many times you can swing it at full force before you get tired. Just play around with it with that in mind versus something like this, which is more like a traditional cudgel or shillelagh. Okay. Do I need to suck my gut in more? No. <laughs> I think you look great. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe.